So every year for Whitley's Awanas uh, class at school, they have to make a project and um, people vote on the project and that raises money for uh, um, why can I not think of this? Missionaries. Yeah. So this year we're going to make something with seashells and I'll show you what we um, are going to start with our supplies in case you guys want to make one. So I love palettes. Um, Me too. Palette art. So we took, this is a palette that we broke down and um, then we took it apart and then we had Matthew nail it together for us. There's the back. So we're going to put a, oh my word, I just broke it right there. It, <laughs> yeah, sorry. We'll have to get uh, him to put another thing on there. But, uh, so we're going to hang it from here and Sorry about that, Whitley. It's okay. I just pushed it too hard. But we can still use it That's for good. right now and just have him do that part later. So yeah. we are going to um, use seashells and make a wave shape on here. And then we're going to write on here, um, he's the one that the winds and seas obey because it's supposed to be something about Jesus. So um, we're going to have glue for our seashells. And we have transfer paper. Um, there is such thing, and you might need to um, you need to use it wisely because is it expensive? Uh, I mean it's it's not free, so yeah. Yeah, use it wisely. Fair. So we're gonna put our transfer paper here, like that. We'll it's have to really use cool. several sheets of this. We used this on one of our Christmas videos. Yeah, when Whitley was making the snowman to raise money. Yeah, I raised, um, so she raised $160, yeah. so she was able to uh, buy several Bibles, they're $10 a piece, um, to give to people that don't have a Bible all around the world, so that was really awesome. Can we yep. Let me get our transfer paper on here. You can use these again and again if you are careful with them. I might just do... Yeah, that might be uh, Like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what, though? Well, we will do the wave. I'm going to have her draw the wave first. And then we can go back and do oh. the words. That be okay? Yeah. Can you help me with one way? Um, I already made you a little template, so oh, all you have to yay. do is trace it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is my fancy schmancy template, which is not fancy at all. This is our way. <laughs> Well done. Well done. <laughs> you worked very hard on this. Prize winner. <laughs> okay. So. Let's get it right here. This is going to be scary. Nah, you'll do a good job. So let me get the camera and bring it over this way. Okay. All right. So we have our transfer paper on our board and Whitley is just going to trace this wave mm -hmm. and Whitley when you get to right here you'll just kind of finish it yeah, out you yeah. should be able to figure that part out let me get you a pencil okay and the thing about this is you have to really hold the paper down because if it slips it'll be off it, yeah, yeah that's right really that is one bad thing about it but you can tape it down but we just didn't yes. do that all right i'm gonna have to get up on my yep. knees we have three chairs here because i'm sure Silas is gonna come storming in in a second and have to help yes <laughs> so we're set up and prepared for him all right Okay, so let's pull this up, see how it worked. Here, put that over there. And then let's gently move these sheets over. So now we're going to take this, put it here. 
Grab this and put it here. You can hardly see the crack in between them. Yeah. What, Thor? <laughs> what? What to do? Alright. Let's see if we can kind of figure out where we want this. It's hard when you can't see the background. Yeah, I think that would be a good spot. But if you guys didn't hear it, it says he's the one. He's the one at the ones. He's the one at the winds and sees the best. Right? Yep. Now what we're gonna do is Whitley is going to careful. Yep. And you are gonna have to be very careful with these because I don't have them glued down. Oh, okay. Maybe we can. You don't have to color them in, just trace the edges, okay? Okay. All right. Let's see. Pretty good. There it is. So now what we'll do after we um, put the seashells on, we will come back and use a paint pen to paint in the words. Sorry for the loud noises in the background. Uh, Silas and Matthew are tilling up a garden, I think. And Salas yeah. has me a large pile of crystals there. <laughs> and I'm sure he's going to try to bring in the house. There's Matthew. Let's see. There's Matthew tilling and there's Salas chopping. We're going to try to make a big garden because Daddy's big dream is to make our whole yard literally a garden. <laughs> and um, Salas' crystals are actually rocks, which are these. But if you go to our Easter video, I can go grab a real crystal. Yeah. So I'm going to go get my crystal and okay. I'll try to find Salas' crystal. But Salas' is like the empty tomb, but it's like a snow rock. It's so cool. So I couldn't find Salas', but this is my rock. Wow. That is beautiful. And they actually chopped that part of the rock off, but then they make it like plastic like that. It's not plastic. It, it's real it, rock. It does feel like plastic, but I promise you, it's a real rock. Oh, Lord. Yeah. So, like, why did they just cut they, it? They, yeah, they cut it open. And then, oh, that was whole. That, that was in there. Oh, my word. Mm hmm. It's like um, the power of the devil. That's how much power the devil has against all the power of God. Mm hmm. That's super cool. Super, super cool. All right, you ready to start gluing shells? Okay, let's get it set up to do that. All right. Is that hot glue? So, yes, this is hot glue. So we are going to start over here. I'm gonna put some hot glue here, Whitley, and you can put your shell on there. Okay. Go ahead and stick it I on there. I hope I don't get burnt. Let's get here. Okay. And now I'm gonna use this pencil.
So we have one row finished. And, and it then, took us about 10 hours. <laughs> we will show you the rest of us a second. And there's the finished seashell product. Let me get you a little closer so you can see. All the seashells. What, bud? Put it on as close to the seashells. Put it as close to the seashells? Yeah, so we can see. Okay, so Whitley, you want to tell us which one's your favorite? Okay, so, um, uh, I literally don't know, but I like these stone rocks, and yeah, I also, ocean rocks we yeah, found. those are like cool. clear, and then I also like, um, this is hard. Um, boat shell, right? Yeah. While you're thinking, I, think I really that... like these clear little ones, but I think this might be my favorite, this little pink one. So, us which one's your favorite? That too. Oh, yeah. Okay, I found mine. There's a couple shark teeth in there if you look really closely. Yeah. Which one's yours, Willie? slip and slide. Oh, yeah, Willie well, said this would be a perfect little slip and slide. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is lay it down. And Whitley's going to use a white marker, paint marker, to fill in the words. There's what? Yep. Come on, let me show them the marker. Let's see. So here's our marker, paint marker, treehouse brand. We've used this one before in another project that Whitley did. So it may be empty. I'm not sure. You really have to shake it a lot mm -hmm. to get all that paint out because there's like this little bottle in there that once you shake it, it'll the paint just splatters everywhere. Mm. Yeah. So I'm gonna start on this S and see if it still works, and it does. Is it working? Oops. Gotta be awesome. kind of careful with this because um yeah, you, you can't push the too lightly, and you have to stay in the lines because if you push too hard, like all paint will come out. We had to put a couple coats on the letters. We still have to put the um, Bible reference down there, chapter and verse reference. But that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna go behind Whitley and outline this in a black paint pen, just so it stands out a little bit more. But what do you think, Whitley? I thought that it was awesome. Yeah, it looks pretty good too. I think that for our next one, Dallas is going to do one of these. So I'm suggesting that we make, Mom's going to make a um, a Bible verse for some reason. She's going to try to do that. And then we're going to like, I'm going to try to get them to put like, um, he's the one who put the stars in place and the sun in the sky in the morning. And then we could make like blue on this half, uh, one of the sides blue and the other side black, but then they can make like 
the this, sun on one side and the yeah, stars on the other. Star Maybe. We, we'll have to see. Room. We may try to do something a little more ocean themed though because yeah. we're doing seashells. Yes. Unless we find another media that we want to use. Yeah. But this looks pretty good. So we're almost done with it. Uh, probably got another maybe mm, hour or so in um, outlining that and then putting, you'll have to use the transfer paper and put the uh, Bible reference down there. But what do you guys think? Silas? It's good. What do you think, Dad? Um, oh, Dad's not in here anymore. Sorry, sorry, I thought you were in here. No, you're good. What I was suggesting is we can make a seashell and then we could trace more and we could trace a shark and then fish in front right here and then fish trying to run away. And yeah, then, so, so that's wants to do something with the and shark. And then we can color um, in blue or black and white uh -huh. and we can color the fish all rainbow. We'll see. All right, until next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now I'm going to use this black pen. Whitley so nicely took off the, um, the label. And this is a, um, a thin tip. So hopefully we're going to use this to outline. And it'll make these words stand out some. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to have to go back and fix that right there. I should have had the words in front of me because I couldn't remember how the S was set up. Um, but the black definitely makes it stand out. And so now we just have to put the verse reference here. And um, we will be all finished. Last thing we have left to do, come on this side, babe, okay. um, is put the verse reference on here. So Matthew 8, 27. So Whitley is going to trace this with the pencil. Remember, you got to trace the outside of it. Okay, Whitley, are you ready to show us the finished product? Yes. I'll help you take that off. Ta-da! <laughs> Let's see. Hmm, what is the verse? He's the one the winds and seas obey. Matthew 8, 
27, so we just abbreviated it to Matt because we didn't want to take too much to write down space. The too. Yep. Um, so we are going to be have to use we are going to have to use this um, for next year's yeah, for next year's Awanas because the coronavirus or the cro yeah the COVID nineteen um, <laughs> has. So it canceled our yes, event. it canceled yeah. our church service thing. Yep, but that turned out great, don't you think? Uh -huh. I really love it. I so think that's really great. Um, you guys can't might not be able to see this good on the camera, but this right here, look at that. That's my favorite shell of this thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mom, which one is yours favorite? Well, I, this one kind of like glow in the dark. <laughs> I think I said previously that I liked this little pink one down oh, here, yeah, that but I also like pretty. these shiny ones. They're, they're all so pretty and unique. That's what's yeah. beautiful about seashells. I don't think we videoed the inside of this one, but it is so pretty. It's got like light pink in there. Yeah, yeah it's pretty. All right, so remember to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy this Everyday Adventures. If you decide to make your own, definitely show us a picture of it. Um, this was a really fun and cool project. Great way to use your seashells that you get from the beach. And remember to make every day an adventure. Yep. And, and in a few days, we are going to the beach. Yeah, so we'll get so more excited. seashells. Yep, that's going to be Yay. fun. And um, also check out our other videos in the uh, description down below. And hit that big thumbs up button. Bye. Bye-bye.